Hey guys, it's Arben and Squishy Muzzle here, and in this video, I'll be going through my Calvin Puzzle 3 by 3 by 5 and seeing what corners are broken. Yeah. So, if you guys didn't know, like a day or two after I got it, a non-keeper was playing on the corner stock and it broke. So yeah, if you have a 3 by 3 by 5 and it's Calvin Puzzle or you got it from Barton Noble or something like that, then it doesn't mean that it's Calvin Puzzle. Just make sure that you don't pull on the corner stock and don't need to turn back to Garden Noble if it breaks. Just go on the cube got yours and buy your replacement part. Swap. So, yeah, so this is actually the first time I felt and turned this in months. Yeah, because the corner stocks are very thin so they can break very easily. Don't let non keepers play them or at least warn them and tell them that the stocks are very thin that they can break. So yeah, don't turn it around the corners. And also, if it's like this, don't grip here. Because the cap will come off. Not that big of a deal, but... Yeah, you guys saw my unboxing of that. It literally went under the table. Like, you know, under my desk. And, like, yeah, I got stuck somewhere. Oh, it's, um, the Barnes Noble Keyword unboxing. Just record on my channel. So, yeah. So, I'll just assemble it first, and... Kind of forget what you have to do. Yeah, oh, yeah, you have to take out the cap. And then you can like push this out into the corners that are very thin. These out, these corners, not these, these. On any Calvin puzzle, on every sort of Calvin puzzle, three by three by five, they're very thin. So the stalks are very thin. So base, edge foot. So corner base, corner stalk, edge foot. And there's stock, stock, S T A L K, and there's a stock, S T O C K, like, like a stock Wushuang. That's like Wushuang. That's like just like, like stock Wushuang from the fact. It's like a regular Wushuang, not like premium or setup or anything like that. Yeah, like stock settings, tensions, like in stock. It's available. Yeah, it's broken. So, yeah. I'm going to go through and see exactly what's broken. So, where is that broken piece? We'll put the cap back on now. Yeah, see these pieces are actually like corners. Oh, yeah, there. These are, like, edges. I know it's from the orange corner. It's orange, blue, and yellow. So, where's that orange, blue, and yellow? So, I found the orange, blue, and yellow. Let's bring my camera down. Oh yeah, this is where the damage was done. Yeah, look, I only had to do, do I only had it to use for like two days or three days. And, and then yeah, it broke. It didn't just break itself and non keyword broke it. I'm trying to line it up. Obviously, I'm going to get a replacement part, but you know, I just wanted to line it up like this. Oh, where did it exactly, or exactly did it break? I don't know. Yeah, I'm also going to get a replacement piece, but I'm just saying. 
I would have actually had gotten it already, but I just wanted to, like, get the intro part of the cube. I don't know if you could do that. So I had to email the cubicle owner. It's not staying, so it's hard to actually see it. I can't even hold it there. Yeah, so it looks like the other part of the cube must have gotten lost somewhere. Whatever. I might have it somewhere. So, yeah, obviously it wasn't in here. I swear I kept it in camp. It was in day camp. I was on the bus. In the morning, I broke it. Yeah, and he also, like, threw all his stuff out of the bag. Or, 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 out of my bag. And then he threw my X2 out. Along with it. And it was scrambled, so I just put the caps on randomly. Obviously, you might think that you could just switch these caps. Well, that one's... One. Like that one. Yeah, I had to take it apart and go through it. That'll be in another video. Yeah. Probably, I think, I think this is like an orange piece or something. I don't know. Yeah. I think this goes here. Let's see if I can actually switch on the run now. I guess I can do it in this video. I think I'm going to move this up because, yeah, lighting is dark here, so. Move this on the way a little bit. So, yeah. Kind of like these. I kind of have to de decipher it. I'm gonna have to switch some of the pieces around. Oh, that's why it looks weird because I have night shift on my phone. There. Now it looks normal in the viewfinder. Okay, so yeah, I night shift on my phone. That's why it looked weird. I record my phone. So yeah. Yeah, this will be for another video. You gotta do this more time in another video. So, we. Uh, control center. Good. Okay, so. Here's him shaking around. It's not good. I mean, oh, it's probably the other card, part of the corner. So where's that broken corner? Okay, so there it is. So. There it is. Yeah. This piece is in three parts. Literally three parts, and two of the cubies are in two parts, and two of the parts of the QB are in two parts. I'll see this one's fine, but these two. And by the way, I hate the X two. Yeah, I absolutely hate it. It's like so hard, like, like the parody. I don't even know how to do parody. I mean, Jared Keeper did his walkthrough solve, but it's just a walkthrough, so he didn't actually get parody. He said how you can avoid double parody, but the thing is, he had two parody, so they just canceled out. So that's why. And like, I was really around that one time and I got the parody solve, but yeah, I forgot what I did. I don't know. I just hate it. it turns horribly. Catches. Like, cool. I'm trying to turn the outer layers. So, like, I just do this. And even, and just, it's horrible. The yeah, X-Warner's fine, though. I have to kind of see how it goes.
Or how it would go if it, like, yeah. Or whatever. Obviously, I need a new piece. Yeah, whatever. I think I'll see it broken. Like, I'll just double check though. It's a flash. It should be that hard to assemble. And the official, like, X cube, like, this thing, and also. Is made by a company who parts and they also make the boot key. So, yeah, this is the common puzzle X1. Yeah, it's really good actually. Uh, I'm not sure what's the right name, Calvin or um, moving parts. Yeah, and this does c come out. It's annoying. Kind of slides off, but like, on its own, when I'm solving, it's kind of like a uh, cap pop. <coughs> it's over to stick out of It just slides out into two. It's annoying. This comes out, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. I could always, like, use, like, some heavy glue or Elmer's glue, or even if I have to, super glue. I don't even know if Elmer's glue works on plastic like this. Or just getting a part. If I want to do this, I'll just switch apart. Whatever. Like new, new piece. Yeah. So, doesn't look like any of the, any of the other corners are, like, broken. That's good. And I wasn't sure at that time. I, so I knew I was going to eventually like do something like this, which I am do finally doing now, three months later. Just after it happened, yeah. Just sitting on my shelf in Saran Wrap for three months. I didn't have a three by three by five for three months. Yeah. And I'm finally going to get a replacement part. Looks fine. Let's see. There's four pieces left to go and check. Yeah, it looks fine. No, oh, wrong piece. It looks fine. Yeah, they're all fine except for that one. And two more. And if you buy a puzzle from a store and it doesn't work out, don't return it. It's because it's, it's like a VE4 is like popping. Return it. Like, why? Like, why? Or just get a replacement part from the cubicle. I happen to get a part in Noble. Well, yeah. So. Wait. Well, yeah, and then that one. They all look pretty much fine. I mean, like. Yeah, they all look fine. So I'll assemble it now. You assemble it like a normal three by three. So with like the official X cube, there are ideas extensions where it's a three by three inside, but with like the cabin puzzle one and the cube for you three by three by four and stuff like that, cube for you cube boys. Instead of having the face extended as like extra faces and they're still a fully functional three by three inside, it's like kind of like extended out. Like it's not like you know, just like you can't just. Of like this, for example, I don't work like a normal three by three by three, like, like, Yeah, I think that's good. Having a little like that. They'll always have art. They'll have art facing up. So blue. 
that's orange and blue. That's uh, red and green I have this year, so. I'm going to do a symbol solved. I do not want to tremble. I think you still use it and stuff like without the corner, but whatever. Let's go to some itself. Yeah. And plus, I don't want to have like switch two pieces at the end. Wait. Actually, let's do it three or five. So, no, but you can't get parity because what you call parity at the end. Like, I have like even these edges. Well, just like three or three edges, then yeah. I get PL parity. So, green and white. So, let's time to assemble it. I'll do a time to assemble it. Oh, and actually, um, yeah, so I just found a piece. I need to do a time to of it. Yeah, so that wouldn't work. And which are like it's facing down, like yeah, like normally have it like that, you wouldn't have it like that. <laughs> so it's obviously this one. I had to test it out. Yeah, so. That's really annoying, like you don't, like you might insert the wrong corner and have the whole entire color scheme wrong. But then, yeah, but the problem is, like, let me show you have these on the side, but then. Yeah, that's another problem, like, it's hard to find pieces. And I don't always mess, end up messing the, up the inner one, in, or even, like, the other face, of, like, when I'm on the outer one, or even the, just the other face of the inner one. Yeah, I just hate that view. It's horrible. I, I, I still recommend to have it in your collection, and you might like it, too. Like, you might find it easier to solve, and maybe, like, you can mod it. Maybe, and you can't really change attention, though, because these caps come off, but, like, you know, this one. But for some reason, I can't get the cap on the longer ones to come off. So maybe it's like super good and to find out what the. I, mean, I don't know. So you can cut and do it and see what's what. Um, so. Yeah. And if we're wondering, the Q4U3 F3A4 does have the alignment of the zoom, which just came to my head. And the piece has a, has a little bit of a bump extended out, so. Like the add pieces. Internal edges. They're like these pieces. It was so annoying. Similar to this. And, that, and actually, it's blocky like a Rubik's Red Eye. Kind of. I don't know, whatever. So let's see. Blue. I'm talking about the other other five. Whatever. 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 That's real. Life. So, okay. That will go in. Yeah, well, it's facing up because it goes like that. So now I just have to find the court. Uh, it's actually kind of a good thing that I went through and saw um, if anything else was broken in the slightest. Because not because then I now I have them all in the same spot. Of course, I would say I need to do that to see if there's anything broken. See if I need to get a place apart. So, I see that. So like an F2O pair, and this is like one corner. Let's do that. Or fun. Okay, so. Probably going to be boring, so I'll just do a time lapse of it. Okay, so you, you can't like really force the corner in because it's dockle break. Or, you know, that you can't like push it in though, kind of just move it because I barely had anything in, but you know, you have to put it in like that. Let's put it in like that.
Cool. No. Yeah, so I was saying this is also like an extension type thing. I'm not going to go in depth with it because then the video will be too long. So yeah. I can roll through a three. I don't want to take out the, this edge. It's not really like a four to four or anything like that. Just a three out three end puzzle. But it's not that big of a deal if you do this. You guys know what I mean. Like, you don't want really to keep the edge into secure it, but it's just a three out three end puzzles so that you don't really have to do it. Not that important. And just, it still will be easier to put this in. So, yeah. Green, yellow, and orange. Wait. Mm. Obviously, that's the only one left because I already have that. Mm. Or you can also like, assemble like four layers and then, you know, or three layers on three by three by four. And put the internal layer, so yeah. It's like four. Whatever. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. It's not like a rigid procedure when you like assemble it. Get these what's there um That's, yeah, that's a problem on this one. You can't really do it like that. If you don't want the socks to break. I'm kind of pushing in because this is together as one piece. So, yeah. Right. I'll say I can put it in this one. I'll just keep that one. Um, the broken one separately in the bag. And you have to take off the cap for the final one. And then you have to put it in like this. You guys might have came to this uh, assembly thing just to see the final one. To see how to like take out the final and then put in the take out the first edge that you take out and put in the final one that you put in. You guys see, there's not really that much room. Get the lit, yeah. There's not really that much room for it, so. Getting it in is harder than getting it out. 
a lot harder. Yeah, that's right. I'm just putting it like this. Like one piece. Yeah, that works better. So, I'm not like a wood cube actually at that angle. So, yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And bye.